Dragon Ball The Breakers is an online asymmetrical action game about one of the most vicious antagonists from Dragon Ball against seven ordinary citizens without superpowers. In the game, the vicious antagonist is called a raider and the ordinary citizens as survivors. Survivors of this game are from a group of ordinary citizens who do not have superpowers like Goku. Survivors are sucked into a mysterious phenomenon called Temporal Seam, which is a space where all the times and places are mixed together. What awaits them there is the Threatful Raider. The player can choose to play as either a Raider or a Survivor. The goal of the Raider is to defeat all Survivors while the goal of the survivors is to escape the battlefield while protecting themselves from a raider. Survivors can escape from the battlefield by activating the Super Time Machine. In order to activate the Super Time Machine, they must protect the startup system, which appears in the middle of the map for a certain amount of time. If survivors are able to defend the startup system until the activation is complete, the power of the Super Time Machine will fix the temporal scene and allow them to escape from the battlefield. In order for the startup system to appear, survivors must first set the power keys. There is one power key hidden in each area, so the survivors must find and place it in a specific location. The more power keys are set, the less time it will take to defend the startup system. If the startup system is destroyed, survivors will not be able to activate the super time machine. But the game will not be over yet. Beacons will appear on the map to call out the emergency time machine, and each player will have to try escaping. If you succeed in escaping, you will receive bonus points in the game results. However, only one time machine can be called out at a time. Survivors can choose between escaping alone or escaping together with their companions. If the raider destroys the time machine even once, survivors will not be able to call out the time machine again. Also, if you fail to escape within the time limit, the game is over and the raider wins. A raider can win the game by stopping the activation of the super time machine and defeating their survivors before they can escape the temporal scene. If raiders can defeat all survivors, then it becomes a complete victory. Raider doesn't have to necessarily defeat survivors, but the more he defeats, the higher points are earned. Since decreasing the number of survivors will lead to stopping the activation of the super time machine, take action efficiently. The Raider, with their overwhelming combat power, has a unique feature which allows it to evolve during the battle. For example, one of the Raiders, Cell, starts as a larva at the beginning of the game and evolves by absorbing survivors and NPC civilians. Each time it evolves, its combat power and skills will change, turning it into an even more threatening enemy for the survivors. The Raider has active and passive skills that make it a threat to survivors. Active skills can be activated at any time. There is a variety of useful skills, such as key detection, which allows one to see the aura of the survivors and also other skills to efficiently defeat and fight with it. Passive skills are skills that are always active during the battle and have a continuous effect. There are various skills depending on the Raider, such as ways to accumulate the evolution gauge, and also actions that can be triggered at any time by specific controls. In addition, each raider has special attacks for each transformation form. Among them, the ultimate special attack, which can be used in the final form, has an incredible power and attack range. Cell's perfect Kamehameha hits everything in a straight line, making it a move that can be used to great effect especially in attacking the startup system. Each time a raider evolves, it can destroy one area of the map. Once an area is destroyed, it disappears completely and the range where survivors can move becomes narrower, making the action more tense in the latter half of the game. 
In addition, destroying an area will not demolish the power keys that have already been installed. But destroying an uninstalled area will reduce the total number of keys installed, which makes the time longer to switch on the startup system. With these various skills, you can gradually drive survivors into a corner. Although the Raider is overwhelmingly powerful, survivors are not unarmed against this threat. Several countermeasures exist. Survivors can also use active and passive skills. For example, the skill Saiyan Pod Remote allows you to call up and board a pod that can land anywhere on the map. However, be careful because it takes a while to call out the pod and also, you will get damaged when the pod falls on your head. As another example, the skill Change can be used to deceive the raider's eyes by changing into random objects on the map. However, you need to be careful as well, as it can sometimes turn into something completely unexpected. Unless you use these skills to your advantage, it will be difficult to escape the powerful raider. Dragon Change is one of the few ways that survivors can use their power against the Raider. Survivors can equip up to three Transphere's, a sphere that contains the souls of Super Warriors. Dragon Change can be activated by collecting a certain amount of change power on the field, allowing you to fight with the power of a Super Warrior for a short time. However, the Raider's power is still overwhelming so it is recommended to use it as a temporary countermeasure or use other skills depending on the situation, such as escaping with the use of flying techniques. Transfers can be set in a spot of level 1, 2, and 3. The higher the level, the stronger the skill will be, but on the other hand, more change power will be consumed. The form of the raider that you can fight against is determined by the change level. When you fight, Make your decision based on the power balance between you and the opponent. The timing of activating Dragon Change is very important. Whether you want to fight, flee, or go to rescue, use it strategically to get the most out of this ability. Various items can be used on the field, such as a weapon that can be shot directly at the Raider, vehicles that can move around the field quickly, and a radar that can search for the activation key. Utilize a variety of items and try escaping the battlefield. In addition, there are also Dragon Balls on the field. If you collect seven Dragon Balls and offer them on the altar, Shenron will appear, awaiting to make your wish come true. Survivors can wish to increase the change level by one step for all survivors, or maximize their own change level to four. Raising to change level 4 can only be done by wishing to Shenron, and once you power up, your appearance and power will be exactly the same as the Super Warrior for a certain amount of time. The final form of the Raider is of course incredibly powerful, but increasing it to change level 4 will be the only way to counter with equal power. Summoning Shenron is not mandatory, but it will definitely contribute to the victory of the survivor. It is extremely difficult to collect seven Dragon Balls in a limited time, but by cooperating with your teammates, you may be able to collect them faster. But careful, the Raider can also make a wish to Shinron. In this case, the Raider can only wish to either level up just one transformation form or to recover stamina. It is possible to sabotage each other until you get your wish, so don't give up your efforts until the end. In the game, it's possible to increase the chance of victory by cooperating with other survivors. If you are attacked by the raider, ask other survivors to come rescue you. If you are about to be defeated and until the countdown reaches zero, your companions can mend your wounds until you are fully healed. Don't forget to communicate. The signal feature is one of the communication tools to let other survivors inform each other about their actions, the location of the raider, the location of items, and many other things. Make sure to use it efficiently with your companions. Lastly, 
the defense of the startup system is one of the biggest keys to cooperation. You can use Dragon Change, skills, items, or even directly operate the startup system yourself to shorten the time it takes to complete. You will have to defend the system by using all the countermeasures we have mentioned. Help your friends, cooperate with each other, and try to break out with as many survivors as possible. Raider versus Survivors. Experience the overwhelming power difference in strength and prepare to enjoy the ultimate asymmetrical battle action in Dragon Ball The Breakers. The beta test is confirmed and go register to be one of the first to play. We look forward to your participation.